day. Okay, that. All right, if I said two radical two plus four radical two, if you're thinking just a little bit, you probably could tell me that's what? That's how simple. All right. Now, again, I, I, I want to try to explain over and over, radicals have the same uh, relationship as variables do. All right. What you can do to a variable, you can do to a radical. Now, I've tried to tell you for a long time, the number in front is called the coefficient. That tells you how many of these there are. So there are what? Two radical twos. We're adding what? Four radical twos. So altogether, that would be what? It's really and truly that easy. Six radical two. All right, now obviously as we go down the page, it progresses and gets a little bit harder as we go down. All right, so you gotta how to know how to do the easy ones first. All right, what's the problem? No, we're not on ifs yet. I promise you, I will get to everything. That's why there's so many problems. I will cover all the bases and you will know how to do it completely by the time you leave, if you're paying attention. So number three, all right, you're looking at that saying, I have 11 radical seven, I'm subtracting four radical seven. So that leaves me with what? Seven radical seven. That's how simple. Now I'm looking at five radical seven plus three radical six. Anybody? Yeah, that's the answer. That is the answer, right? There are five radical sevens. You're adding three radical sixes. Is seven, radical seven and radical six the same thing? No, they're not the same. So that's the answer. Just like if I said, what's X plus Y? Some of you still say X, Y or two X, Y. I know that. All right, that's not true though. You can't add things that aren't alike. You have five radical sevens and you have three radical sixes. There's no way to add them. All right, that's the answer. That's the answer. All right, just rewrite it if you want. All right, now number seven. What is that? Yes, negative three, radical three. That's how easy. Anybody have any issues? So number nine, obviously, seven radical three X. This is radical three X. I have two of them. This is radical three X. I have five altogether. I have seven radical three X. So now, of course, everybody's going to look at number 11, and that would be what? Six radical three. It would be nice if you just tried, all right? If all you're doing is, again, over and over, if all you're doing is writing down my answer, you're really not learning much. I added the numbers. Oh, I see what you're saying. Two plus three is not six, but there's a one in front, all right? There's a one. Now, those of you guys who ask me how I got six, I want you to try to figure out how I got six. All right? Because it's the same thing when I said 2x plus x. Same exact properties. Number 13. Four, radical seven. Anybody have a problem? I told you, very easy. Number 15. Five radical five X. Okay, number 17 for all you thinkers. That would be for the weak, not for the strong. I'm listening.
Wow. Obviously, four, radical, three. Yeah, I know. Those of you guys who were here yesterday, you understand how to do it. Those of you guys who were not here yesterday are like, man, I don't know how to do this. Right? But if you were here yesterday, you know how to do it. All right? Now, some of you are like, well, I was here yesterday. I don't know how to do it. Well, I mean mentally here yesterday. All right? If you were mentally here yesterday, you can do this. All right? Those of you guys who just went with the flow and wrote down all my answers yesterday, you have no clue what to do. Now, how do I do it? No, I have the answer is four radical three. What do I do? Tell them, Trey. For the next one, for 19? No, I'm on 17 still. Oh, okay. So you divide 12 once, and that's one. You divide six again, that's three. What are you making up math today? <laughs> What are we doing, man? You're just dividing, just whatever comes to your mind, huh? We just divide by 12, multiply by three, add, and eventually I'll get an answer. Exactly. Ashley, please help him. Shh. Wow, those of you guys who were here yesterday, remember, there's a perfect square in 12. Yeah, it's not really that funny, guys. Right? I don't know what's wrong with you. Say it again, Ashley. Well, that is really not that hard. Those of you guys who were here yesterday, and I mean that. All right, 12, there is a perfect square in 12. Every time you look at a square root, you have to say, does it break down? All right, does it break down? And 12 breaks down, it has a perfect square in it. So you have to pull the perfect square out. And now we have two radical three plus two radical three gives me four radical three. I, I want it to be good. Um, would it not work? No, I don't accept, would it not? That is not even a question, would it not? I don't even know what that means, would it not? <laughs> What is the question? What, what, I mean, if there was a number. No, we're not doing what if there's a number. The square root of 12 breaks down to two radical three. If you don't know that, I'll give you your worksheet from yesterday no, that maybe you did or didn't do. No, I, I know it. But if there's a number in front of the radical, would it not work? 19, here we go. You're welcome. What? One radical five. How in the world did you do that? Shh. 20. Everybody now should be able to say, okay, I see 20 is four times five. I know the square root of four is two. So you should at some point look at that and say, that's just two radical five. All right. That's what I want you to be able to do. 20 has four in it. Four is a perfect square. Not two times 10. Two is not a perfect square and 10 is not a perfect square. So he is perfect. Two minus one, radical five. All right. Tell me, Eddie, number 21. What? How are you doing that so fast? Break it down for me. What am I doing? Nine times six. You are amazing. That is exactly correct. That's exactly correct. It's that simple. All right. Hopefully now you go, yeah, I had to know yesterday in order to do today. You can't do it. All right. <coughs> Easy. Very simple. All right. Yesterday I talked to you about 72 and I said, yep, yeah, you can do 72 is nine times eight, but there's a better one for 72. And those of you guys who are listening can tell me 72 is what? 36 times what? Two. Thank you. That's what happens when you listen. You can kind of remember the next day what's going on. So 72 is 36 times two. 
Now, Brennan, what's the square root of 36? No, without a calculator. What times what is 36? Six, radical two. Now, let me give you a little heads up, all right? This will help you if you pay attention. Because we broke this down to a radical two, this one over here probably is going to have a what in it? A radical two, probably, because that's what we're working on, combining terms, all right? But I don't have to tell you that because everybody knows 50 is just what? Now, hold up, Brennan. All right, so if 50 is 25 times two, what's the square root of 25? Yes. All right, it's okay not to know. It's not okay to sit there and just write down my answers. That's what the problem is for some of you. All right, so it's gonna be plus five radical two. So altogether that is what? 11 radical two, right Misha? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm doing? Jackson, how you doing? All right, let's everybody take a look at 25. All right, here we go. I have three square roots of 12. Maya, this might help you. Um, oh yeah, so, okay, three, and then I'm gonna do three and four. Shh. Just leave her alone. Let her think it out loud. 12 breaks down to what, please? Good. I like to write the perfect square first, but you don't have to. Now, instead of saying six and three, yeah, let's say it properly. That is six radical three. Um, now, how did I know it's six radical three? Because it's being held together by multiplication. You need to know that. That's important. It's not addition. It's multiplication. Shh, go. What's the square root of four, kiddo? Two. So there's a three out here. What do you think you do with the two and the three? Um, now, again, this is, this is something else I'm trying to show you. Even if you didn't know, right, Molly? You know the square root of four is two. There's a three, and I tell you the answer is six. You should conclude, what did I do? Yes, you see what I'm showing you, all right? Even if you're not comfortable asking questions, all right? You look at the numbers that are being used and see if you can calculate yourself how I came up with those numbers, all right? Now, I just said something. I said, because there is a three here, that means the other one is probably a what? The other one is probably a three. So then you can do on your calculator, if you don't know 16 times three is 48, you can just do 48 divided by three. And wow, that's nice because 16 is a what? Perfect square. So now you should be able to say, and I'm breaking this down for people who don't know, that's three times 16. And then what's the square root of 16? Four. four. So this is six radical three minus four radical three. And obviously now that is what? Two radical three. Now, those of you guys who are trying to get it, all right, take a second. I'll give you 45 seconds and we're going to do 27. You try to figure it out before I give you the answer. And then you can see, wow, okay, I kind of know what I'm doing, or I'm clueless. And if you're clueless, speak up. Thirty seconds. Come on, you really don't need calculators. Calculators are holding you back if you're using a calculator. All right. It's embarrassing if you can't tell me the factors of 45 and the factors of 20. All right, someone who has a final answer. I'm not asking you to break anything down. I'm asking for a final answer. Yes, ma'am. Somebody said two radical five. What'd you get? One radical five. One radical five. Somebody else? 
One radical five, two radical five, two radical five. And you guys, it's just silly to sit here and not try. Everyone should have an answer. What? One radical five. What are we getting? Me. I Yeah, that's too slow. All right, that means you don't know what you're doing. All right. So now, I'm, I don't understand. 45 has what perfect square in it? Nine. Nine. Everybody, please. All right. Now, those of you guys who can look at that and just say, well, I already knew that was six radical five. You're ahead of the game. That's where you should be. All right. Because what is the square root of nine? Someone tell me. Three. There's a two already on the outside. What do you think I'd do with that two and the three? Multiply it. So two radical 45 is exactly the same as what? Six radical five. Now, of course, when you say radical 20, you're going to tell me that's what? Five times four. And which one of those is perfect square? Four. four. So what's the square to four? There's already two out in front. So that makes it a? Negative four, thank you. Six minus four, two, radical five. Remember, please, the number in front is telling you how many square roots of five do you have? All right, you're just breaking things down, breaking down, breaking down, that's it. All right, here we go. So let's talk about the square root of 12. Now, again, I've done the square root of 12 probably five or six or seven times. You don't need to tell me it's four times three anymore. You just need to tell me the square root of 12 is what? Square root of 12 is, say it again, two radical three. Your mistake was you forgot to do the square root, which is perfectly normal, perfectly normal, but correct yourself. All right, the square root of 12 again is what? Two radical three. Now, someone else, think about 27. Instead of breaking it down, you should say, I already know what perfect square is in 27. All right, then the square root of that, all right? So the square root of 27 is what? Three radical three. It's a new way of writing numbers, all right? We don't do decimals. All right, we leave it as three radical three minus what? One radical three. You don't have to put the one there. All right, you should put it there if you make careless mistakes. So now we know the final answer again is what? Four radical three. All right, here we go. Let's try 31. All right, let me give you a couple seconds, 45 seconds. See if you can do it, come on. All right, someone new, take a chance. Go. I want the final answer. I have a three radical six. Someone else, tell me. Four radical six. Come on, guys. Four radical six. Three radical six. Four. Four. Three. Good. So we're stuck between three and four. Now, look, guys, anybody completely clueless anybody need me to just go super slow all right so when you look at 24 you're not seeing eight times three you're seeing what six times four which one of those is a perfect square four so four comes out as a but there is a three out there already so now it becomes six six Radical six. 
which probably means the other ones have a what? Radical six. So 54. Nine and six. So the nine breaks down to a, so it's minus three radical six. And then there's another what? One radical six. So those of you guys who said three, you probably just forgot this one right there. Yeah, because again, it's attached with multiplication. It's oh, no, no. The reason why you're not adding, I'm trying to tell you. That's remember what I told you, 3x. What does that mean? If I just said 3x, you would tell me that literally means three times x. There's no multiplication sign in there, right? Three plus x, I have to put a plus sign. Three minus x, three divided by x. The only one that doesn't require a sign is the multiplication. That's how I know there's no sign that's multiplication. You with me? The three and the 24 are held together by multiplication. All right, so that's how I got four radical six. All right, anybody? All right, here we go. So we've already done 50 once. 25 and two. 25 and two. So square root of 25. Five. There's a what? So all together, 10 radical two. Molly, is that good? 18 is what? Nine times two. So square root of nine. But there's already a what? Three. So it's kind of confusing, but it's still nine radical two plus nine radical two. Now, again, 32 is just a common problem because most people do what? Four times eight. We're not doing four times eight. We're doing what? 16 and two. That's a common problem. Well, because I'm trying to break them down to twos, right? So I'm just assuming this is going to have a two there also. But you should know 32 is two times 16, right? If you don't, most people say eight times four. But then the eight has to be broken down again. You with me on this, right? So square root of 32 is minus what, guys? Four what? Four radical two. Anybody have an issue with that? So now my final answer for that is what? 15 radical two. All right, a lot of real basic problems for you. All right, a lot of real basics. All right, so here we go. Now, again, I threw in a couple variables here to try to see if you're okay with that. Again, 27. Everybody should be able to look at that now and say, I just know that's what? Nine and three, so the nine comes out as a. Now, eventually, you're going to stop saying nine and three. You're just going to tell me it's three radical three. All right, but there's an A out in front, right? So that's what? Three A radical three. Everybody good with that? Now, I'm looking at the A squared. What's the square root of A squared from yesterday? A. Just A, does everybody agree with that? So this comes out as an A minus two A radical three. All right, now this can be a little confusing for kids. If I have three A and I say minus two A, that's what? A, all right, but you're still talking about what? Radical threes. So it's technically one A radical three. 1a radical 3. Everybody good with that? Okay, now we're looking at 37. Okay, on 37. It's an odd exponent. So those of you guys who remember from yesterday, what do I do with the odd exponent? 
Yes, you separate it. Thank you for listening. So that becomes x squared times x. Everybody okay with that? Now, the square root of x squared is what? So I pull that out and it becomes what? 5x radical 3x. Everybody good with that? Okay, help me out with square root of 27x. Nine and three. So what happens to the nine? And so the square root of nine is what? So this comes out here as six, correct? So that would be plus six radical what? 3x. All right, now put a little star by this one. <clears throat> right, I, I, I think that's a good answer, but how many 3x's do I have here? How many 3x's do I have? No, no, no. 5x. I have 5x radical 3x's. Does everybody agree? And I'm adding what? 6. Now, can I really add those things together? No. no. So you have a total of 5x plus 6 radical 3x's. All right. Now, the other way you could think about that is you're just factoring out a square root of 3x. But again, that was just more of a thinking part. Okay. Now, um, the reason I just do 39 through 45 is because occasionally um, you do need to use your calculator sometimes on standardized tests. So everybody just type in on their calculators for practice. And we round to three decimal places. So I want everyone to do square root of three minus the square root of two. And then I want it to three decimal places. Square root of three minus the square root of two. Yeah, it's got to be about point. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, okay, on standby. All right, now forty-one. All right, now, now again, you you have to use your calculator. I, I'm doing this specifically to help you with your calculator. All right, you have to type it in. All right, you have to know when to close the parentheses. You have to know when to be outside the square root. All right, so now we're looking at 41. Square root of five plus the square root of three is what? 3.968. And now everybody is checking out 43. Everybody's typing it in. It's just so amazing how you guys just can't ignore things. You have to make a silly, stupid comment for everything. Ignore it. Eventually it goes away. Four radical three minus seven radical five. You're just typing it in. Negative 8.724. Four. Hit the four button and then do radical three. And radical, remember to get to the radical, it's second square button. Do you know this? Yeah. So what do you have typed in? Start over. Do you have four, second, square root, three. Now you have to move outside the square root. There you go. That's the problem. And now finish typing it in, right?
You with me on this? Mm -hmm. What did we get for do number 45? Tell me what your answer is. Anybody else get for 45, 42.073? Okay. All right. Now that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good explanation. All right. Now take the time and do the what? Yeah, do the work. All right, do the evens. It's really and truly not that hard. All right. Get to work, get to work. All right, finish up.